A check is not necessarily the first step towards checkmate. It could be a completely useless move. Thank you, Oliver. In this lecture, we'll be learning about checks and checkmates. So, what is a check? A check is a direct attack against the king. For example, in this first position, white can deliver a check against the black king by moving his rook down to h7, like this. Now the rook's attacking the king, but this is not checkmate because the king can walk out of the check. That, that king can move to any of those squares. So let's pretend the king goes to b6. And remember this, if you want to do checkmate, normally you'll need at least two pieces helping each other. If you simply deliver one check after another, kind of hoping that maybe one day it will be checkmate, well, you're out of luck. That's not going to work, I assure you. Okay, so you're going to need the aid of another piece. One check after another, not a good idea. Let's move on. Now, in this particular example, um, we've got a whole army of, of white pieces and we can check the king with just about any of those pieces. For example, we can move our queen to any of those squares that I'm highlighting now and the king would be in check. For example, if I move it here, it's a diagonal check. If I move it here, the queen's attacking the king like that. From b3, it's another diagonal check. From d7, a forward line. Or if I move my queen to f5 or h5, again, a horizontal check. So that's obvious, not very difficult. Now, I can also move my knight to c3 like this. The king is in check also. I can maybe move my pawn to c4. The king is in check again. The king's got to move. Maybe I can move my rook to a5. And as you can see, the king is in check again. Or I could move my bishop to um, g2, perhaps. There is another check with the bishop, bishop to c4. But this is not a good one, because black can simply take that bishop. So what can we do against the check? Well, let's see it e4, e5, knight f3, d6, knight c3, a6. And now let's try this silly move. I mean, this next move doesn't make much sense, but um, it'll help me explain what I'm trying to explain. So what do we do against the check? What can we do? Well, the king is under attack. And the first thing you've got to, um, you've got to think about is, can you take the piece which is checking you? In this particular case, the answer is yes, you can take the bishop. It's a very logical move. You've taken a bishop, a free bishop. So bishop b5 was not a very good check because he's just losing his bishop. But how about if that pawn wasn't there on a6? Hmm, what else can we do against a check? Now, the second thing we can do against a check is to block it. Now, if we draw a line between our bishop and the king, between the bishop and the king, I mean, um, if we put something in between that line, that mean it'll mean that the check has been blocked. For example, if I put a pawn in between, now the king is no longer in check. Or if I put my knight in between, again, the check has been blocked. Or maybe I can move my knight to d7 or even my bishop to d7. And again, the check has been blocked. Now, it is true that I can block the check with my queen also, but this is not a very good move because the bishop can take our queen. I know that we can take back, but I mean, you know, the queen is worth nine points, the bishop is only worth three. We've lost our queen for just a miserable bishop. Not worth it. So what's the third thing we can do against the check? The third thing we can do is to walk out of the check by moving our own king. For example, in this particular position, we could move our king to e7. Now, it is true that walking out of a check is usually not such a bad idea, except in positions like this, in the early stages of the game, where, you know, you're supposed to castle with your king. Do not leave your king in the center of the board. So king to e7 here is a really terrible move because you've got many alternatives, particularly blocking, you know. We could have blocked that check with uh, either the bishop or the knight. That would have been much better. So those are the three things we can do against the check. Now, in our next position, nothing can stop the check. Look at this, bishop to d4. The black king is in check. We can't take that bishop. We can't block the check because pawns do not move backward. 
and we can't walk out of the um, out of the check because um, those squares are occupied by either our pawn or the bishop. So this position is checkmate, and that's the difference between a check and a checkmate. You can't walk out of a um, of a checkmate. You can't block it, and you can't take the piece which is checking the king. So this position is checkmate. If he were black to move here, black can do exactly the same by moving his bishop to d5, and that king is in a checkmate position. Let's see a few more. In this position, bishop check is not checkmate, because in this particular position, the knight can simply take that bishop. Here, it's bishop to a4 is not checkmate either, because we can block the check. And here, we haven't got a knight to block the check. However, we can simply walk out of the check. In this other position, however, we do have checkmate. Queen to a1 is a nice checkmate. Can't take the queen, can't block the check, can't walk out of the, um, out of the check with your king. And here, with white to move, knight to f7 is checkmate. Can't do anything about that. If you were black to move here, knight to f6 would be checkmate also. And this final position, white's got a nice and simple checkmate against the king. We've got this diagonal check. And look at that, the king has nowhere to go. Can't take the queen, can't put anything in between, and cannot walk out of the check, because those squares are obviously under attack. And this just about concludes this lecture. More to come. Please subscribe or I'll hit you with my walking stick.